Hey everyone, Sakpase. Welcome to another episode of Wedding Wednesdays. So, I know I'm a little bright right now because I'm using my ring light and it is pretty late. It's like 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. But I just wanted to come to you guys. So today I just wanted to come to you guys and give you guys an update on what's been going on and if we've decided to cancel our wedding based off of the pandemic that is COVID-19. So, our wedding is supposed to be held September of this year, September 4th to be exact. And although we are about five months away from our wedding, we have still been considering like plan B and different options just in case we do have to cancel, which hopefully we don't um, or really postpone it because we really like our wedding day and we've been just doing so much planning and preparation just for this day just for it to be postponed and I feel for all the brides that actually had to postpone or cancel their wedding like I know how much work and energy that went into planning your big day and I'm so sorry um, I hope that this pandemic like it ends very soon or we get a vaccine or whatever the case may be just so we can get back to normal life so yeah um so as of right now, our wedding ceremony and reception is still on, Lord willing, and we are still planning as if it's, you know, best case scenario. Um, although like our planning has kind of slowed down as far, just because so many things have been closed, so many stores have been closed and we're supposed to be doing like, we're supposed to be staying at home anyways and social distancing. So we haven't been planning as much kind of so the things we're in control of yes of course we have been as far as like looking for apartments or housing wherever we're gonna live we're kind of weighing out both options we've been doing that and looking for a videographer and photographer because that's the one big ticket item that we still haven't secured just yet don't worry we own it <laughs> um yeah so because literally everything is closed my dress shop where i got my wedding dress ooh, is also closed but luckily for me um the owner of the place she's been so sweet and kind um about it so i've been able to just keep my dress there i had the option to do that and then as it gets closer to the wedding um even if they are closed like the stores haven't opened up she was still like find a way to just give me my dress my only concern would have been alterations um because i was supposed to get my alterations done there so now i'm just kind of like i don't i don't know what's gonna happen but you know all we can do is stay positive trust god and just keep praying that's it as far as our wedding goes they haven't mentioned anything about cancellation because we still have a couple months to go and i'm sure as months get closer if this is still going on then that's a conversation that we will have with them if we need to cancel it if we're postponing it and if we get our money back which we looked at the contract and yes we would get our money back just because this is something that's out of our control out of anybody's control what's going on so they would have to give us our money back um but so for our options plan b would be is if this pandemic is still going on but they said you know we can have parties of like 50 or no more than 50 then that would be fine because we would still have our wedding ceremony and reception on a smaller scale because our guest list was closer to like 150 it was like 130 150 pushing 150 which i wanted to stay at 130 <laughs> anyways so if we get it to 50 you know it is what it is we would still have our bridal party and we'll still do all of that um we would just probably find another venue though we were looking at airbnbs and other alternatives to where our original venue was and you know we're okay with that like it doesn't even matter at this point um yeah that would be plan b plan c is kind of like if we were to postpone our wedding up until 2021 which isn't what we really want to do like we're not trying to push it into 2021 just because we both have that desire to be married um in september like we've been waiting like we've been planning for almost a year and a half like 2021 that's got a bit stretch like we ain't trying to do that so that's our last resort so that's like option d so option a would be like everything goes with us plan we have our 130 150 guests option b would be if we have like 50 guests and it's just a smaller scale because the pandemic's still going on 
Option three, C, <laughs> C is we just go to court with our parents and like immediate family or yeah. other people want to go. And plan D is 2021. Yeah. So it's far back there because, yeah. Although we want to have like the whole shebang and have all of our friends and family close by, we understand that the most important thing for us is getting married like we're making that commitment onto God and to each other and we're excited about that journey so I think we're probably going to no, option A, B, and C more than we are even thinking about D yeah <clears throat> now I feel like I will be bummed yeah. about not really having a bridal shower or a yeah. bachelorette if we go into option like D the court route or we really can't have parties of mm -hmm. 50 which would okay. suck but you know it is what it is and i'm prepared and i feel like i'm getting comfortable with the idea that may not happen or may not look like how i desired it to be and you know that's cool but yeah most importantly i'm getting to marry my best friend like i'm so excited to just grow together challenge each other each and every day and continue to get to know each other each and every day like that's exciting um yeah, so we're not trying to stress, we're trying to stay positive, but most importantly, we're really just trying to trust God, trust this process, because of course we do think that there's a bigger picture. It's not just our wedding or our little lives or whatever. There's something bigger than that, and we're just a part of it. But all we can do is pray, hope for the best, and I feel like just prepare the best that we can. Of course, things change, and we don't know the overall outcome, but we can just, all we can do is pray. Like, period just pray so y'all that's pretty much the end of this video um keep praying for your girl um send your positive vibes because you know i'm staying positive it's a little stressful but it's all good like my siblings making jokes about like i'm gonna have like a whole mask as my bridal accessory like that needs to stop <laughs> no <laughs> but we excited um thanks guys for stopping in and tuning in and stay tuned for another episode of wedding wednesdays Bye.